Guess what? We got a chance to speak to the whole entire cast of Apple TV Plus's Slow Horses. Check out our conversation with Chris Chung, Rosalind Eliazar, and Dustin Demery Burns. First of all, just congratulations on being on one of the best things on TV right now. You know, they gave us screeners for the whole of season two, and now I don't know what to do with myself <laughs> until you guys get done with season three and four. Um, let me start by saying I'm not going to give away anything that happens in season two, but I will reference season one in saying that one of the things your show does very, very well is the way it frames death. And it informs the audience that death can come at any time and to anyone. And I was wondering what that's like for you as performers, because for us, it just keeps us on edge the whole time. And I don't just mean you guys reading the scripts going, do I get another paycheck? But what is that like? How does that inform your performances? <laughs> Tough, I've yeah. always, always going to answer it more as an actor. Like It's like you can relate it to like always waiting for the job to end and you wait for your next job. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> Terrified. It's like... Now, you, you know that. what those Game of Thrones guys felt like all Oh, my time. God, yeah, it's brutal. Like, who's going this week? Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. I think for us, it was, I, I guess it's slightly different because they're books. And whilst we deviate from the books a bit, we have a pretty good idea of, of where the characters are going. It's great that if the, as a viewer, if you're watching it, certainly not knowing the books, if you're watching it pretty cold to the storylines and it's a real guessing game and a real surprise each time someone pegs it, then that's good TV, hopefully. That's a good, mm. exciting, you know, way to do it. Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I came to the books after watching the first season of your show, and I was yeah. always a big Lakari fan, and this feels almost like the antithesis to what he wrote. And But I'm making it a point not to go too far ahead. Talk to me about what it's like on set, because watching it, it feels like Slough House is this amazing, intricate, place that tom burton has just kind of put together for you guys it feels like it must be a joy to perform in that location well, certainly in series one i loved the, us being able to sort of creep in there at night sort of break in almost and sort of tiptoe around and that felt very very fun and exciting and naughty all at the same time yeah i mean it really just really helps the actor when the set is so believable you know, at times we would we'd get cabin fever from, from shooting all day in that place. And I think that that works for the show. Because you just want to get out. You want to get out. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible place to be. It's, it hasn't got any nice colours. There's no Nothing artwork. Nice to sit on. <laughs> Nothing nice to sit on. Nothing works. I mean, they've done a brilliant job on, on recreating the set. Yeah, no, as soon as season two started, I think just watching Saskia Reeves kick that door open again and I was just immediately back in. It was fantastic. Um, Gary Oldman and Saskia Reeves, is every day just like an acting masterclass? There is a bit of that, I must admit. From my personal <laughs> Not just from them, from everyone. I think everyone was good, but there are certain, you know, Gary and Saskia, you have to sort of marvel at a little bit and just from what you've seen of their work and it's very exciting to watch them firsthand and be opposite mm. them. It's nice. What do you think the show, or why do you think the show is so appealing? Because I was watching, I was binging my way through season two. And I swear to God, I was texting people I know going, this is so good. Why is this so good? And I was wondering, what do you think makes Slow Horses work as well as it does? Because it is very different from the other spy crafty shows. It's very English. Well, that's, I think that's it. It's, 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 it is very British. It's got... British sense of humor, very sarcastic, dry and witty. And it's kind of got the the perfect combination of, of comedy and, and tragedy. The characters are relatable because they all have flaws, you know, and it's it's not a pretty drama. It's not a pretty spy drama. It feels real in some way. Um, and I just think it, I just, it reflects life pretty well. Yeah. Um, you guys have got season three and four approved, and that's coming soon. Um, I'm assuming, actually, I don't know if you started shooting, but I'm assuming it's going to be a very different experience from shooting seasons one and two, because you guys shot that over COVID, and I guess now everything's kind of opened up. It must be very different. Yeah, it is, but we're still following 
we're still following, following COVID, COVID uh, protocols. It does feel like there's a, the, you know, filming the show during COVID, the first two seasons, it definitely felt that we were kind of moving against a clock because we never knew that, you know, if someone was going to test positive or it was, you know, so right and everything was going to shut down. So there's definitely that kind of sense of anxiety that I, I personally kind of relate to filming mm. those first two seasons. Now you have like a bit, just, you know, a bit more of a, a breathing space around it, it feels like. So it's, it's, it is easier to enjoy the work. That's good. Um, I've got like 30 seconds left, but, but Chris, you get, you get away from the computer this time. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you get to do stuff in the field. What was that like? It's wonderful to get out of the office. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nice to put Roddy in situ like, and see punch he, people. Yeah. It, it's nice to put Roddy in situ and see, you know, how he kind of copes out away from, you know, being a keyboard warrior and how he does function outside of Slough House as well. So that, that's a real joy to be able to explore that as, as the character. Oh, absolutely fantastic guys i'm out of time but you know slow horses has just been a highlight uh in the apple tv catalog so thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Well, wait, what, what do we do well try not to get caught for as long as you can my money's on about 30 minutes thanks so much for checking out our videos you can watch other interviews right here on youtube don't forget to sound off in the comments below like subscribe share tell your friends tell your family